somewhere between fireball and who do we think we are going through the machine head period Richie and Ian Gillen agreed to disagree they, something happened I'm, I'm not sure what it was I'm not sure actually that either of them could now uh, iterate exactly what it was that, that went down between the two of them but something did um, maybe it was not a specific thing, maybe it's just a general malaise, a, a, a general dis, dislike of each other. I, I have no idea. Because they used to be quite close. I mean, they used to, in, back in the day when we had very little money and, and we, we were sh still sharing rooms in hotels, uh, Richie and, and Gillen used, used to share rooms. So something went strangely wrong. Maybe that's what the problem was. Um, but anyway, so we get to towards who do we think we are and... Um, yeah, they, they were travelling in separate cars, they were living in separate hotels, all that malarkey. Um, that wasn't very comfortable at all. Um, and when we get into 1973, uh, when Ian Gillen first left the band, uh, the thing that a lot of people forget is he was not fired, he left. I mean, he, he wrote us a, a letter uh, saying that he... He no longer agreed with the direction that the band was taking. Not sure what, what that was all about. He has later said uh, that he was actually wrong. He shouldn't have left. He's also said that actually what he was looking for was some help. Um, and I do have to say uh, this, that I think if our management had understood that he was actually a cry for help, uh, that that he would not have been out of the band, but then, you know, it would have been a different story, and who knows what would have happened. So maybe it did happen for the best. I have no idea. I mean, he would look back at the story of Deep Purple and the yeah. the way that things change. It's staggering to think that they never did. The management never did say, "Well, hang on, just take a three month break, and we'll talk about it again." It's like, okay, next. I, I think that one of the managers, John Coletta, who sadly is no longer with us, but I think uh, John was not a fan of Ian Gillen as a person. Uh, I, I don't think um, that he and Gillen had more than one good word to say about each other. Um, in fact, the only good word uh, Ian Gillen had for John Coletta was goodbye. Um, so, you know, the, the, I, th I think that might have had something to do with it. But... What Ian Gillen did was give us a six months notice, basically, which was immensely, you know, gentlemanly of him. Um, broke my heart at the time. Didn't didn't want that to happen one bit. I was, you know, even through the difficulties with Richie and Gillen, I still thought we had a marvellous band. What I would have done if I'd have been managing the band, I would have given us a year off. I'd said, go off and do other stuff. Because Richie had this nascent idea for, a, for what became Rainbow, knocking around in his head. Uh, he'd already seen Ronnie Dio play and sing, uh, uh, you know, so he, I think he had that going. Uh, Gillen had this kind of weird idea, something to do with Shirka Zoo. Uh, Roger, I think, had a kind of butterfly ball vibe going around in him. So there, there was all kinds of stuff we could have done. You know, I, Saraband was by this time knocking around in my head. So, generally speaking, we could have taken a year off from Purple. We could have taken two years off. Um, and with the benefit of, of 2020 hindsight, that's what I would have done. Okay. Uh, you know, it was an immense success story. Mm. You know, Purple was becoming huge. Um, through dint of extremely hard work, I have to say. You know, we, we were doing... 14 week tours of America, coming home for a couple of weeks, then going back and doing the, you know. So, it, yeah, it was a hard, tough, uh, black and white time, you know. There were, there, there, it was, we did what we had to do, but we should have been given some time off. I, I think um, Ian's uh, timing, Ian Gillen's timing about leaving the band was terrible. I mean, the band was just on the edge of becoming absolutely massive. Um, and indeed, uh, 
Burn as an album actually did take advantage of that because it's a tremendously good album. Um, and the band did take that leap in, into, into stadium rock, uh, almost, you know. I mean, we were right on the cusp. And I, I think had Ian not left, we would, would have done that with him and maybe become even bigger because without the change, you know, that the drop-off that, the drop that you get from a change. Yes. Um, 